Welcome back guys. So this is question 3.49 of chapter 3 and the statement of it is let x denote the number of times a certain numerical control machine will malfunction 1, 2 or 3 times on any given day. Let y denote the number of times a technician is called on an emergency call. Their joint probability distribution is given as a table which is given here. Okay, So you can see here that here the vertical lines basically shows the values of x while here the horizontal lines basically shows the values of y. Okay, And their combined joint probability distribution has been shown as tabulated here. So on the basis of this table part A of it evaluate the marginal distribution of x b evaluate the marginal distribution of y okay so let us first find the marginal distributions of x and y and i have previously told you that in order to find the marginal distribution of x what i have to do is to make the values of that variable constant okay just like here if i want to find the marginal distribution of x what do you have to do you have to make the value of x equal to 1 and then add them all together if you want to find the marginal distribution of x at equal to 2 what do you have to do you have to add all this column and here as well okay so let me have here this one and here in order to find the marginal distribution let me have here x okay and its marginal distribution let me have here this is g of x okay so now the values of x are 1 2 and 3 okay so these are basically the values and what are their corresponding marginal distribution i have to add them together so here i will have to add 0 0.05 0 0.05 and 0. 0, 0. So, adding them all which corresponds with x equal to 1, I will get 0 0.10. Okay. Similarly, for x equal to 2, what I will get? I have to add 0 0.05, 0 0.10 and 0 0.20. Adding them together, I will get 0 0.35. And for x equal to 3, I have to add 0 0.10, 0 0.35 and 0 0.10. Adding them together, I will get 0 0.55. Okay. This is basically the marginal distribution of x and adding them all together if you will add all these values you can very easily see that these will be added to 1 which is the prime condition for any probability distribution. Okay. So that is for what? That is for x. Okay. So let me remove it and move to part b of our question. Okay. In part B, it, it is asking us to evaluate the marginal distribution of Y. Okay. So, this was A. Now, let me move to B. So, again, let me have here the different values of Y and let me have here H of Y, which is for the marginal distribution of Y. And let me put different values of Y, which are 1, 3 and 5. Okay. So, let me find them out. And here, I have told you that in order to find the marginal distribution of that variable at any corresponding value what do I have to do I have to add them together so here for y equal to 1 what do I have to do I have to add these values because you can see that here y is equal to 1 so adding them together what will happen here adding 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.10 0 .10, here we will get 0 0.20 okay similarly here adding the values at y equal to 3 i have to add all these values in this okay because now value of y is equal to 3 so 0 0.05 0 0.10 0 0.15 and 0 0.35 so what i will get here let me have here this so 0 0.50 and the last one here is at 5 y equal to 5 here 0 0.00, 0 0.20, 0 0.10. 0 so here 0 0.30. Okay. So this is what this is the marginal distribution for y. And again adding them 0 0.20, 0 0.50, 0 0.30. 0 what I will get here adding them together, I will get 1, which is the condition for the probability distribution. So this is that's it for the marginal distribution of x and y. Now, let us move to part C of our question and here we have to find the probability of 
y equal to 3 given that x equal to 2 and this is c. So, here I have to find out the probability that y is equal to 3 given that x is equal to 2. Okay. So, in order to find it out I have to use the conditional probability and in conditional probability finding it out I will have here the joint probability of x equal to 2 and y equal to 3 okay, divided by the marginal distribution of x equal to 2. So, here I will have g is equal to x equal to Okay. So, let me put these values from where they will I get this value, okay. this value. So, this value can be very easily found out for x equal to 2, this is x equal to 2 and for y equal to 3, this is y equal to 3. So, 0 0.10 is the value I have to put here. So, 0 0.10 is the value I have to put here and did I find out the value that g x equal to 2, yes, this is already known and this is 0 0.35, okay. So, 0 0.35 has been obtained from the values that 0 0.05, 0 0.10, 0 0.20. So, adding them together, what I will get, I will have here 10 divided by 35 or 2 by 7, okay. So, that is what that is basically the solution of part C of our question in which we have seen the usability of marginal distribution which is here and also the joint probability distribution which is here. Okay? And the ratio of them has been given me the conditional probability which has been obtained here. So, that is it for today. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment box. See you soon.